Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel. I'm Jenny Coder. If you guys are new here, I pretty much do leaking stock questions and I explain things in the simplest way possible. Today we have a pretty interesting problem that I'm very excited about. So let's go to the problem then, all right? So it says, um, uh, given an array of integers, right, called nums, right, which is sorted in ascending order, right, okay, and an integer target is, right, write a function to search target and nums, right? It says if target exists, right, return its index. Otherwise, return negative one. All right, so pretty much what they're telling us, guys, is pretty much we're gonna be giving an array, right? And also gonna be giving some kind of integer target. And our job is to find that number inside of the array, right? So right now, as you guys can see from what we're looking at, right? Uh, we're give, we're they're looking for a nine, right? So nine, is currently at index four, so that's what we return, right? Because index zero, index one, index two, index three, index four, right? So that's what we return four. And then this one, we're giving the same array, right? But this time, um, the target two, right? There's no two in there, so we return a negative one, right? Um, this question could easily have been solved by using a linear search, right? Pretty much a linear for loop, right? To search the array and look for that particular number and then as soon as we find that number we return that number right that index right so we can't really do that right because the question is called the binary search guys what i'm saying we can only yeah so we can't use the linear search in a question that's literally called binary search so we have to apply the binary search right and plus binary search is a lot more efficient when it comes to searching in an array that's sorted right so it's a very, very efficient way to do it, guys, I'm saying. So that's a very key thing that whenever you're given a sorted sequence, try to apply the binary search because that's most likely the most optimal way to solve that question, right? So right now, um, yeah, so right now let's go through a couple of examples, right? How the binary search is going to be implemented, right? So pretty, pretty simple, guys, I'm saying. So pretty much we're all right. So right now we're given a target nine, right? This is the, oh, that's it. Those are the index. And those are the actual numbers, right? So right now we're just gonna uh, keep, um, we're gonna calculate the midpoint at every iteration, right? And then we're gonna keep cutting the search base in half, guys. That's what makes binary search so efficient, right? So right now, currently we, we're, so the search base is gonna be the whole, the, the whole array, right? Because the three act, that's why we need to, we need, we don't know where that number is yet, right? Which part of the array, so. Now, every iteration, right, we're going to calculate the midpoint, right? The midpoint is calculated by doing, by adding those two numbers up, right? The left and the right divided by two, right, to get the middle. All right, so the midpoint is going to be five plus zero divided by two is, is um, 2.5, right? And we truncate the um, the decimal, right? So we don't worry about the decimal. So it's actually two, right? So we, we check does, does three equal to the target that we're looking for, quarter nine, right? No, it does not. So now we need to make a decision, right? Should we go to the left side or should we go to the right? And then uh, we ask ourselves, guys, what I'm saying. So um, does, is three less than the target, right? If it is, so we know that, that uh, the target has to exist on its right, right? Because, you know, if we go to the left, the numbers are only going to get smaller. So now we make a decision to go to the right. So the way we simulate by, so now we update the left pointer, right, to move to the to the right, right? To the right of the midpoint, right? That it that the midpoint that we calculate, right? So now boom, this gets away, right? And then now we do the same thing, guys. We calculate the midpoint, right? We do five plus three, right? Um divided by two, right? Gives you so this gives you four, right? So index four, right? So now the midpoint is gonna be it's pretty obvious that the midpoint, right, um, between left and the right is nine, right? So now we check nine does not equal to the target, right? Yeah, it does equal to the target. So we end up returning um, the, we end up returning as the answer, right? Um, four, right? Because the four is the index. That's where the thing's actually at, right? So now pretty much guys, you know, we just keep cutting the search base in half every time, you know what I'm saying? So we, we check the, the does the midpoint equal to the target that we're looking for. If it's not, then we decide if we should go left uh, or right, depending on the answer that we ask. Right? We ask it. All right, is that number smaller 
and then the target we go left right if it's bigger then we know that we need to go to 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 the left right if it's smaller we go to we go to the right so simple as that guys i'm saying let's quickly implement the algorithm guys i'm saying so as we said right we're gonna have a point right so now the left right um, the left is going to be pointing at, at the beginning initially, right? And then the, the, the right the right is going to be pointing at the um, the last element, right? Because we so we start beginning and we start at the end because we're considering the whole array that the search space is, we didn't know we're not cutting the search space yet, right? So we're just we're solving that, right? So now the next logical step, guys, is on the left, right, is less than or equal to the right, right? Uh, we keep um, calculate the midpoint every time, right? So the midpoint, right, is gonna be left plus right minus left, right, divided by two, right? We do it like that, guys, because we want to prevent integer overflow so it's a very good way if you interview and you do interviewing make sure you um do it like that so the interviewer could be happy right uh, because you, you could talk about you know the integer overflow and you'll be like oh all right you know i'm saying so now the next thing that we're going to do right we check does the number right does the number the midpoint right equal to the target right if it does equal to the target guys we we have found our answer right so we return uh, the midpoint right otherwise guys we're gonna ask um so we're gonna choose uh should we go left or should we go right right so now we we ask the answer right does the mid midpoint right is it less than the target that we're looking for if it's less than the target that we know it has to be on my right side so we update the left corner guys to go to mid plus one remember that how i did it so that that's how we simulate you know, cutting the thing in half, right? We update the left corner to uh, go to mid plus one to cut down the search space, right? Because we're only considering all the numbers between the left and the right, right? So that's why we do that, guys, I'm saying. And then likewise, if the, let's say the midpoint, right? The, the middle item was bigger than the target, so we know it has to be on the left side. So that's why we would uh, update the right corner, right? To go to mid minus one, right? To come down a little bit, right? I'm saying, and then we after we do all, do all of that, right? If we don't find an answer, if we, if we never hit that, right, and we process all the numbers, right, and left is ac actually crossed over, you know, the right, right, uh, we returned negative one, right? That means we didn't find an answer, so we return negative one, right? So let's see if we pass uh, the small test case, guys. Perfect. Let's see if we pass all the test cases. Awesome, guys. We're able to pass all the test cases, guys. Uh, I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. If you guys found value, make sure to give me a like. If you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe because I'll be doing a lot of other videos just like this one. So uh, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.